Are you ready? What's up, machine freaks, and welcome... Welcome to the vlog. Me and Prince are enjoying the weather. Can you tell by my short sleeves and Prince's smile? Off camera, Prince. Off camera. This is a family show. You have to keep it professional. I know, sometimes we forget. I agree, I agree, okay. I have not been able to wear short sleeves in like eight months. It's something crazy like that. Prince, we have to keep it a family show, remember? Good boy. I'm not sure if this is going to make it onto YouTube today, but uh, we're gonna try. I, I wanna keep everybody in the loop, and I know that you wanna be in the loop as well. So let's make this happen. You keep doing what you're doing. So I know what you guys are thinking. You're probably thinking, what the heck's under this huge tarp, this massive tarp that keeps on trying to blow away on me, and I will show you. Well, I guess I'll show you one of the things, because there's actually two items under here, which is extremely sick. Now you guys know that I've been talking about getting something huge, doing something big, massive, but I want to tell you right now, this isn't a massive thing, but this is a huge thing, or a big thing. Adjectives, things like that. But I'm going to show you the second thing tomorrow, or the following day, however it plays out. Here's the first thing. That's right, I didn't sell it. But I do feel bad for the old girl. Why? Look at her. Oh shit, is it over? Oh, thank you. Woo! I was sweating bullets there for a second. So before the wind picks up and tries to blow that tarp off on me because it's not strapped down or anything like that, what do you guys think it is? Like I said, it might not be on tomorrow's video, but it might be on the following video. I'm sorry. Spring is here and I'm really, really excited. I gotta get things going. I owe it to my friends and my family to get things rocking and rolling. You know that I wanted to take the KX to the auction to try to sell it because as you know, the top end was shot and it's junk. When I say the top end shot, I mean everything in the top end, like the camshafts, the cylinder head itself, like the cast aluminum piece, the buckets, and then when you do that, you gotta do the shims and things like that. Yada, yada, yada. I also took a couple miscellaneous items. If you've been a long time watcher, I actually built this four-wheeler lift. And I took that to the auction too because it's just in the way. I don't really use it very often because of the confined space that I have to work with. So I sold that too. So I inform you guys, I say I'm taking the KX, I end up taking a couple other things. The auction starts, I get there. There's a lot of stuff, a whole bunch of stuff on a whole bunch of people. The only problem is, is when you have a lot of nice stuff and not very many people, I mean there are a couple hundred people, but when you don't have a lot of people and a lot of machines, you have like no competition, which means the prices weren't bringing what I wanted them to bring. Saying that, we got to the KX after this. Look at her Oh my, is it, is it over? Oh, okay. So like I said, after this guy got, yeah. I'm like, what the what? Oh my, I thought you said it was, okay. So after that guy, he kicked it like for probably 20 minutes. Of, it, it wouldn't run. I know it wouldn't run, but he had a lot of determination. So he kept kicking it. Believe it or not, my camera is overheating. That did something. They get to the bike. I did meet a lot of fans while I was there, local fans, which, which was kind of cool. The auction starts, and then all of a sudden, like more fans came up to me. Well, maybe, maybe not fans, they just wanted to shake my hand. I don't know. And they were asking me questions about the bike. I have all these noises around me. I can't hear half the things some people said to me at some time. The bike got up to 1050. Now they take a commission out of that, so I wanted to hit 1100 to compensate for that. Should have took the 1050, I didn't. So the KX came home with me. Now a lot of you guys are probably excited that the KX came home with me and, and you know a little bit of well I guess a huge portion of me is kind of happy that it came with me and I have to say that one kid I'm not going to play it again. His determination and his willpower to kick that bike over you would never even tell that it was seized. Like this thing kicks like you wouldn't believe but the top end still shot. But it kicks over phenomenal. Now a lot more did happen at the auction and I have a couple more clips from the auction but it's the big surprise and that's I, I gotta hold that off from you guys. It's a surprise. You guys gotta guess in the comment section below what do you want to see on that trailer. It's something that I've never bought before. Keep that in mind. I'm stoked! To be completely honest, and as you can probably tell, this is more of an update video than an actual upload, but I know there are so many of you that are such a fan of the KX and you guys wanted to know what happened. 
And come on, we have to have this time together every day. It's just how it works. Ha <laughs> ha! I think I found our winner. Jesse James, cat's name should be... Thank you, Jesse, for coming up with a new name. I also want to thank the people that came up to me and, you know, said, Hey, what's up, 3D Machines? And it was cool. I met a Jeremy, Brandon, Anthony, Alex, Nicholas, Dean, Mike. I, I met those people at the auction, and then I met somebody when I walked out of a grocery store after the auction. Carter, he stopped by with his Jeep. So thanks for saying hi, you guys. But I hope you guys enjoyed this 3D Machines production. We got something accomplished. I will get back in the groove of things, I promise you. Just really, really busy right now. I hope you guys enjoyed this 3D Machines production get outside it's spring it's amazing i love it you should love it too oh yeah and i forgot to mention i sold the kodiak <laughs>